Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. Before we get into the rest of today's video, I just wanted to let you know that there's still time to enter our thanks giveaway. So be sure to check the description box for more information. All you have to do is subscribe to the newsletter and you'll get all of the giveaway info. I do wanna take a moment to thank everyone for all the love and support that they've shown on my sticker shop videos. Your words of encouragement means so much and if you haven't seen those videos i'll have a playlist linked in the cards and in the description box below that way you can get caught up and understand why and how i started my sticker shop and all of the good stuff that came with it more specifically in today's video i wanted to focus in on how i started a sticker shop without a sticker machine and i'm still currently running my shop without one what is a sticker machine though? It's basically a device that reads and registers your desired cut lines so that you can make either kiss cut stickers, die cut stickers, and depending on the machine that you're working with, so much more. You may have also heard these referred to as cutting machines and the most popular are by Silhouette and Cricut. I've also heard a lot of sticker shops talk about the Brother sticker slash cutting machine. I don't know too much about that one, but I'll find some links and have them in the description box below. That way you guys can take a closer look. It is not a printer. It does resemble a printer in some ways, but you wouldn't rely on this machine to do any printing for you. So then the question is, can you make stickers without a sticker machine? And the answer is yes, otherwise I wouldn't have made this video. But basically I'm gonna walk you through how I make my stickers without a sticker machine. This is not the only way, it's just a way that works for me. I do very quickly want to address why I currently don't have a cutting machine. I started my sticker shop back in July, so it's been four or five months now that I've been running my shop and I'm just currently saving up for one. I do want one, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me from not starting my sticker shop sooner. And if you have that creative itch that you need to scratch, I would say don't let that hold you back either. As I mentioned, I started my shop back in July and I actually started out with printables. So that to me is a form of sticker. It's a digital print that I provide on my shop for people to purchase. And once they download it, they can print it out themselves. And I actually have I believe those listings with the tags stickers so that people can look up stickers and, and find my listings. So while it's not a traditionally printed sticker, I think it's something that people can use and enjoy in their bullet journals just like a sticker. And if they wanted to, they could print the downloads on sticker paper and do exactly what I'm doing for my shop right now, which is cutting them by hand. I do understand that it might not be as exciting for some shop owners to have printables because it is a digital product, it's not tangible, and I think part of the appeal of having a sticker shop is having tangible goods and being able to wrap it up in nice packaging. That's certainly the case for me. I love packing sticker orders but don't underestimate the power of printables. It can definitely keep your cost down if you're just starting out because you don't have to ship anything out. Once the person purchases it, they have the link to download and that is set up through Etsy, which I appreciate. For me, offering printables in my shop was just a great way to get started and get my foot in the door. Once I felt a little bit more comfortable and I'll admit, just feeling a little bit more ambitious, I decided to offer tangible stickers. I offer die cut stickers and I'll talk a little bit more about your options with kiss cut stickers if you are trying to pursue that without a cutting machine. My process for making die cut stickers simply starts out with me illustrating on my iPad. I have an iPad Pro 11 and an Apple Gen 2 pencil, I believe. And if you don't have a device where you can digitally illustrate, again, don't let that stop you. Stick to traditional mediums and find a way to scan in your images. That way you can still have the benefits and joys of making your own stickers. 
Once I'm done illustrating my sticker set and I've set it up so that I have as many designs as possible on one sheet, maximizing the amount of space that I can print on, I load my sticker paper into the printer and I print out my designs. As per the directions on my particular sticker paper, it does suggest that you let it dry before immediate handling. So I like to let it sit for at least an hour or so. Sometimes if I can't be bothered to wait that long, I'll start cutting sooner. But from there, I just grab my pair of scissors and I start cutting my stickers by hand. At first, I'll admit that I was a little underwhelmed at the idea of having to hand cut die cut stickers. I much preferred the look of kiss cut stickers which is basically a sheet where you can peel off the stickers instead of having all of the stickers already individually cut if that makes sense but i've come to really love and appreciate the die cut style of stickers i love how my packaging has come together to just make it look so cute and compact. I do want to eventually offer sticker sheets for those who prefer that style of stickers, but that will come in time with when I can afford a cutting machine. I've come to very much enjoy the process of cutting my stickers by hand and I often multitask, which oof, I know is not like the best idea in the world because multitasking it's not it's not a thing guys it's not good for you but if I'm feeling a little feisty that day I'll edit a podcast episode while I'm cutting stickers for my shop and I find that to be quite soothing sometimes I'll just cut in silence and it, it's a nice sort of meditative activity for me it doesn't require so much thought but at the same time it does require quite a bit of focus and concentration. I know that seems contradictory. Alternatively, if you do want those nice little kiss cut sticker sheets, you can look into going through a manufacturer. I have heard a lot of sticker shops talk about sticker app and sticker mule. I personally do not have any experience with going that route, but it is an option. And I have also seen some people use an X-Acto knife to cut around their sticker designs while still maintaining that sticker sheet concept. I personally don't think that I have the patience or the precision to execute something like that, but I don't know if I'm feeling particularly courageous one day, I might just go for it. And I know that it is an option, so I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Or why not just draw directly on the sticker paper? If you don't have a scanner, if you aren't able to print things, if you at bare minimum just can get your hands on some sticker paper, I think it would be perfectly fine to design directly on it. Don't feel like you have to follow a certain set of steps to achieve your goals. I've actually seen some dope artists and these artists are doing it by hand. Nothing passes through the printer. It is just pen to paper or whatever medium they're using. I don't think I've come across anyone doing that yet in the sticker community, but I have seen people do like handmade bujo spreads, and I find that to be incredibly special. Each of your pieces would be so unique. And again, if you want this, you will find a way. I hope you found this video helpful and I would love to hear from you. Are you planning to open up your own sticker shop? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you are planning to start your sticker shop through Etsy, be sure to check the description box below. I have a link so that you can get 40 free listings when you first open up your shop on Etsy. Again, check out the description box for that link. All you have to do is click it. And once you open your sticker shop, you'll get 40 free listings on Etsy.
messy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.